Yes, my friends, I'm back with another first time you, first time me unboxing. Let's check it out. Well, this is one of the vaunted American Muscle Authentic series. Now, the Authentic series, when it first came out, uh, basically it was a whole series based on cards that were finely crafted. Uh, the detail was really exceptional. I remember uh, 2000, 2001 when they came out. Um, cars available were uh, Lincoln, Mustang Convertible 64, V8, I think it was. 58 Chrysler 300C! Or D, could have been D. Um, beautiful detail, $100 models. Back in 2001, that was, I mean, now it's about the same. Because it was $100 was a lot back in that 2000 period, just as the millennium came. Well, anyway, this version, years go by, and we have here, uh, from 2007, an FM3 pink 1970 Charger RT. Let's check this out. Beautiful. So let's uh, get this guy open. Uh, what can I say about the 70 Charger? Uh, first car that I ever acknowledged as, you know, as something special, as something as, wow, this is cool. It moves, it rumbles, it makes a lot of noise. This is my dad's 70 Charger. There were rumors that I was uh, driven in his Hemi green one, but I think it was already gone. So, let's see what we got here. Wow, I'm gonna have to flip this guy upside down. Wow, the uh, bumper is perfectly set with the This one doesn't have the same lines that were forming on the other 68, the bullet car. But anyway, stick shift, beautiful. Got a pistol grip. That's what was available in 1970. Tires are the Goodyear Polyglass GT F7015s. Uh, the lettering is perfect, very clear. Again, Chassis detailing, but look at that, look at that pink. Look at that pink always space, like wild, it's crazy. Dana 60 car, got the four speed, so it's gotta have the Dana if it's got a 440 or 426 Hemi. Speaking of which, let's see what we can do here as far as the hood. Oh, look at that, it doesn't wanna come open. And what do we got here? 446 pack car. Yeah, they didn't have any designations for 446 packs for these cars. Um, if you got a, a Challenger, it said 446 packs on the hood. Um, this one, for whatever reason, didn't have any designation anywhere. So, but there you go. That's the air clean on this one is a lot better than the one that was on the bullet charger. It's got the correct looking wheels as well, but these are the ones that were available in the 70s. Uh, full inch bigger in diameter, except for the Hemis. I think all the Hemis always had 15s. Interior is really nice, beautiful white. Beautiful white, let's see if we can get your view. Doors open real nice as well. Same company that made it. Um, look at that dashboard, beautiful. The shifter, there's a pistol grip. Got a pistol grip in my car outside, yeah. We'll talk about that one day. Uh, tail lights look real nice, real nice. There we go. FM3 pink. Beautiful. Charger RT, 1970. So those 
Differences, okay. Number one, you have these scoops on the side here, 68 and 69. They never put anything over here. The only thing you saw was a Hemi. It said Hemi here. You know, when you had a Hemi, you had a little badge there on both sides. Um, this car would have the Hemi, same emblem over here on the fender. Um, this is an SE model as well, so this should have wood trim in it, and it does. Wood trim, not real wood, but it was a fancy schmancy edition. So this thing was a top of the line car, stick shift, um, grill obviously. You got the wrap around bumper. Uh, that was a real nice look. Some people said it looked like a razor. You know, I can tell you this going on. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, it's a razor. Look at that. It was beautiful. It's the most beautiful razor that ever, ever existed. But anyway, that, my friends, is the 1970 446 pack Dodge Charger RT. Thanks for watching.